Hey everyone, it's Amanda Stevens and we're here in Seattle for one of the last stops of the Red Bull Conquest Tour. It's been a long four months and we're settling here in the Pacific Northwest. We've got a lot of invaders trying to take Seattle spots away from their own. Eunice's action is getting on the way. Hey everyone, it's Amanda Stevens and I'm here with the Eunice winner here in Seattle, Squish. So Squish, when I was back in Houston, Trill won for Eunice, and I was like, hey, who do you think could potentially beat you? And he named two players. Red Blade, who is a name that seems to come up a lot in the Eunice scene. I hear he's like a little bit good. And then, you know, this guy named Squish, I think, I think you know him. Yeah, I might have won Evo. Do you think you are far and away the favorite to win Red Bull Conquest for Eunice? Uh, unfortunately, I have to be humble here, but I think Red Blade is definitely the favorite here. Uh, I think I will make it very far, though, at the very least. The competition there is going to be very stacked, so I think anybody can take it at the end of the day. All right. When I was talking to you earlier, though, when it came to this event, so, you know, we hope that people from the region win it, but you're from this state called Arizona. It's not really in the Pacific Northwest. You told me that you thought coming here you were just going to win it free. Did it that did this event live up to that expectation of like not very challenging for you? Uh, I think the players here have a lot of potential, but I did come in here thinking, oh, you know what? This is gonna be free. This is gonna be free money. I'm gonna go to Red Bull <laughs> finals for free. Man, Eunice was hype. If you guys remember, all the way back in Houston, our boy Trill said there was one person he was worried about coming out of Seattle, and it was going to be Squish. And as you guys just saw from that interview, he also thought that he was going to be a problem. I mean, it's great to hear people say, like, oh, man, I'm going to come out, and I'm going to win this event. And I'm not surprised that Squish took it down. Evo champion, one of the top players in the U.S. I'm worried for everybody else heading into Santa Monica. Squish is probably going to take it down. He playing it humble saying that's gonna be Red Blade, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be our boy here from Seattle. We'll forget that he's from Arizona. Well, Street Fighter action is hot on the heels. Let's see who's gonna become our representative there. Hey everyone, it's Amanda again. I'm here with Samurai, who just took down Chris CCH in a very commanding fashion. Uh, California Red Bull Conquest didn't go so good for you, so I guess you had to come to Pacific Northwest to take it down? Yes, yes. Uh, nephew beat me uh, pretty convincingly at uh, Oakland Red Bull Conquest, and I came here, as soon as I lost, I booked a flight and hotel to come over here. I registered as soon as possible. I, I didn't want to lose like that. I wanted to make it, I didn't make it, I, I didn't want to lose that way. Like it was just a bad way to lose. So you, you have, you have Squish as your Eunice player, you know, one of the top Eunice players in the country, one Evo. Uh, we're just going to find out your Tekken player. Do you feel pretty confident about this team? Oh, 100%. Whoever is on this team, we're going to win it. That's it. It's easy? It's not easy, but it's, we're going to do it. What a commanding victory for Samurai over Chris CCH, taking him down in three games. I think it really encapsulates what we've been talking about all tour long about the Red Bull Conquest Tour. Rise, rally, conquer. Samurai lost back in Oakland and he didn't let it end there. He came out here and showed people that if you don't come and defend your turf, an invader is gonna take it from you. You know, it's really unfortunate that Chris CCH lost like, you know, former champion, but we also have to remember Samurai has been a fixture of this Red Bull FGC tour since the Battleground days. So it's great to see him at the finals in Santa Monica and, you know, have another shot at Nephew, have another shot at Punk, who he's been facing in the Street Fighter League. And I can't wait to see how he stacks up against all the other talent representing all of the other cities. We still got Tekken. My voice is going hoarse, but let's watch some good ass Tekken. Hey everyone, 
so you know that we got to talk about Tekken. So I have Queen Charlene from the Pacific Northwest to talk about this uh, Tekken scene here in Seattle. So, you know, I don't know a lot about Tekken here. Is this like a particularly strong part of the U.S. for the scene? Um, I think over the course of the last like year or two, I think that Pacific Northwest in general, which is like Seattle, Olympia, Portland, that whole general area, Vancouver, Spokane, they've done a lot of work to make themselves look like really, really strong players. And of course we got like, you know, we got old heads like Eddie Boy Mang and Super Joe. We got Bravo in the house, you know, all those people, Seattle Colton. So we got some, we got some killers out here for sure. I think they're contenders to say the least. All right, so who's the favorite though? Like hands down, who is like projected to take the, the whole thing? Um, if I had to be honest, the best person here today is probably EBM, and he's like, he's been playing for a very long time, and he's starting to get out of the retirement phase because, you know, being a dad and all that, the parenting takes away all their time. Um, but he's coming back, and he's definitely showing that he's still someone to contend with. Okay. And, you know, we have some really, not just like big North American names as like winners of Tekken, we got people that are holding it down on the Tekken World Tour representing some cities. You know, we got Anakin, we got Shadow. How well does your region stack up versus talent like that? Um, I think those regions are very strong, and I feel like, for the most part, it'd be like kind of e even, I feel like, just because, you know, we got Just Frame James and EBM, you know, Silence is pretty good too. Like, all these people are just fantastic Tekken players, and they've just been working on getting better and helping level up this scene also. So, everyone's getting really good really fast. All right. So, you know, guys, we're going to see how good this Tekken uh, side's going to be. You know, Street Fighter's wrapping up, and we're going to be heading over to Tekken. I'll catch you guys soon. All right. Tekken just wrapped up. We got Eddie Boy Main here representing Seattle. So uh, I heard you like came out of like semi-retirement recently. You know, that dad life? Yeah, kind of. Um, I, I play on and off. Um, but you know, this year uh, with Tekken World Tour, they came here to Seattle, this exact venue in April. And so I, I practiced a lot for that. Um, the most Tekken I've ever played uh, in, in my life, actually. And uh, I felt like I, I got pretty good uh, doing that. And um, you know, I had a pretty good year so far with Strong Style, Evo. And now this, and uh, I, I really didn't want to put the practice to waste, so uh, yeah, I did it. All right, <laughs> so like we were saying, you know, off camera, there's Shin Paulo, there's Anakin, there's Shadow. There's some really stacked names competing in Santa Monica for the finals. How do you feel you fare versus some of those people when you head out? Um, I mean, you know, tournament format, two or three, I think, I mean, I, I'm capable of beating all those players. It's just how I feel that day. And, um, you know, if I can play normal. All right. All right, guys, that wraps up Tekken for Red Bull Conquest Seattle. You got your winner. He's going to try to take some names when he goes out to Santa Monica, and I hope you guys are tuning in there, too. All right, everyone. This is the end of my Red Bull Conquest tour. Seattle delivered. It's a little awkward when you have invaders take over a city, but it is rise, rally, and I guess be conquered, Seattle. Next year, you guys are gonna have to step it up. Your former champion, Chris CCH, lost to Samurai. You got Squish coming up from Arizona. You do got Eddie Mainboy being your Tekken representative, and that's really cool. But I'm gonna be honest. Originally, I thought that as far as my teams went, Orlando was going to be the strongest team. You had Terrence, you had Hotashi, you had Anakin. But now that I'm looking at the Seattle team, we got Squish, one of the top Eunice players in the country, if not in the world. We've got Samurai, who's been tearing it up in the Street Fighter League. And you got Eddie Mainboy, who's like came out of retirement and swept through the competition. So you know what? I'm going to put my money on Seattle. Seattle's going to go to Santa Monica. They don't care about Minneapolis. They're not going to care about the two California stops. They don't care about Chicago. I see Seattle taking down this thing. And you know what? Born free. You thought your teams were nice. You thought your teams were clean. They're also going to get conquered, just like the Pacific Northwest was. Remember to tune in November 23rd through the 21st, through the 24th. Remember that Red Bull Conquest is our hashtag. 
and make sure that you're following twitch.tv slash Red Bull. I'm Amanda Stevens. It's been dope. We out.